Hi. Wanted to come on and share this concept. Um, a lot of us have meditated. A lot of us have heard of the law of attraction and um, manifesting. Um, there's so many words for it, right? There's so many steps. And I just listened to this interview from Know Thyself podcast, which is amazing. And they had this this gentleman called Aaron Doty. Never seen him before in my life, but I wanted to listen. And he was sharing this whole concept about reality transurfing. It was from, I believe he was saying, from the CIA and something that they had practiced. Uh, and so then I think to myself, okay, how, how did the government get that type of wisdom and knowledge? Um, and then there's a book that's called Reality Transurfing. So that's the actual book where they got the, the whole idea from and, and the type of meditation. But really what I wanted to focus on is thinking about how we are many times conditioned to think about who holds magic and who doesn't. It's the wizard, it's the witch, it's all these, right, um, Harry Potter, yet the knowledge is usually from an ancient culture and particularly when they were indigenous when they were one with the land one with mother earth pagan that's what pagan means one with the land uh so i hope you don't carry a stigma with that word uh it's actually it might be a good thing <laughs> and so um when we think about the capacity that humans have and that it's simply our distraction, our inability to um, keep our consciousness and our ideas on what we want to do versus allowing the phone, allowing the movies, allowing a friend, right? Like all of all of those distractions are keeping us from what we're really capable of. And so do the research, get the book, right? Um, practice the meditation. But I came on because it just proves to me and proves to everyone how powerful we really are that we don't really need the phone. Uh, there are waves, there are airwaves that we can tap into. There are consciousness that we can expand within ourselves with the practice. And even right now with, with AI replicating our, our wisdom, our average, right? It's like, the average of every system of thought is on AI. Um, but it replicates, we're still the creators. And so to remember that, like, it's you who's the creator. You are the one that has this moment where you have new cells the old ones are dying off in this moment and you have the possibility to be your new self right now. And the only thing that's stopping you is your paradigm, is your past, is your pattern, is your thinking. So I just wanted to share that, that today as so much is coming at us, so much pain, so much collective trauma, um, 
also beauty. There's so much beauty in this world. Not for us to spiritually bypass the pain of others, but also to create and think of ways that we can all be together here on this earth without being defined by what we produce, but for the value of being human. I keep having these conversations with friends like, yeah, right now AI is, we're birthing AI, like society is like giving birth to this baby, right? And we're going through the labor pains and all, but the baby's coming. <laughs> so how are we going to treat this baby? Where's the crib? Who's going to raise it? Who's going to watch over it? Uh, uh, how are we going to discipline it? How are we going to make sure it's raised properly to be a whole healthy life? And um, and so instead of like whether you for or against AI, our job as humans is to figure out, well, what do we want to do with it? And if jobs that are duplicated are erased, how will we find value in our lives and to what standard will we demand others who have you know decision making powers and 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 of course policy how will we make sure that they understand how they have to treat us how this system will have to be restructured with ai with us having value simply for who we are and not by what we produce and tapping into that higher consciousness is exactly what I invite you to consider because it will take each one of us to have an expanded consciousness to not say oh no we can't do that we've never done that it's like well We've also never had AI before. So to think that systemically there we will not have equity systemized, to think that we can't systemize nurturing, well, we're human, we're all nurtured and we love being nurtured and we need to be nurtured. So those are a lot of concepts all wrapped in one just to say, how are you nurturing yourself, your body, your mind, your consciousness? And how are you ensuring that you remain the creator of your destiny? Food for thought.